If you ordered a 2023 Ford Maverick in the hybrid powertrain, you can now change it to the EcoBoost powertrain in order to possibly receive your vehicle much sooner. Yes, if you all read different forums, different articles online, um, Ford didn't anticipate the number of hybrid orders. They thought they would get more EcoBoost orders, but they got a ton of hybrid orders, and that is delaying the production and the delivery of Ford Mavericks, especially in the hybrid, hybrid powertrain. And so if you want to get your Maverick sooner and the EcoBoost is already essentially pretty fuel efficient, you know, you get decent miles per gallon, um, and you just like the truck as a whole and you're okay with getting the EcoBoost, then you should highly consider getting the EcoBoost, talking with your dealer that you made the order with so they can make that change and they can move you up in the priority list to receive them faster. Now, make sure you all like this video, subscribe. I'm trying to build this community. Uh, I appreciate the support so far. Just make sure you subscribe down below. All right, here I'm on Maverick Truck Club probably the number one Ford Maverick forum out there online. And so, yeah, this was a very interesting post that um, someone posted. This is just a copy of the email that a lot of the dealerships got. And they just told their dealers, hey, you can now tell um, your different customers or if you want to change your fleet orders. Uh, these are some of our um, I guess oversubscribed commodities and undersubscribed commodities if you want to add something or take away something. So that's what I want to highlight right here. So 2.5 hybrid uh, front wheel drive only. So it's currently at 73% over capacity. So the available cap capacity was 35%. And that's what they were anticipating. About 35% of their orders were going to be hybrid, but it ended up being like 73%. And so they're over 38 points above their available capacity. And, and then also on top of that is the XL trim series that's over subscribed. So it's 26% um, percent compared to the 15% they were anticipating. And I was listening to... Um, the Ford truck guy, um, his YouTube channel is Longman Arthur. Shout out to him, of course. Um, but he was saying that the reason why the XL was super popular this year is because they have the cruise control on it. And so a lot of people, instead of getting the XLT, they're all like, hey, you know, I might as well just get the more affordable option if I'm going to have cruise control. And so that's oversubscribed too. So if you all have an XL hybrid, you should highly consider maybe getting the XLT EcoBoost. Um, and yeah, I mean, gas prices have been lowered since the time um, the Maverick was, you know, released for orders and, and whatnot. And so, you know, it being a decent miles per gallon vehicle, um, you should highly consider, you know, uh, just switching. But if this is a hybrid, it's something that you want no matter what, or you ordered this for your wife or your husband, and they're like, no, no way. Well, you know, you're just going to delay yourself even more. <laughs> but um, yeah, and here are some undersubscribed commodities, so things that you can actually add. So they have Copilot 360 package, assist, assist package, the XLT luxury package, the Lariat luxury package, package, and the trimmer off road package. And you see the different percentage here. And so if you were wanting, a luxury package and let's say you already have an eco boost and it's an xlt or lariat then hey you might as well add one of these it's not going to increase the amount of days or decrease it necessarily so i mean i would just keep my order the same if they're not if i don't have anything in my order that's over constrained or in constraints right now i would just keep my order but if i had a hybrid on order i would highly consider going down uh, to an EcoBoost, um, which is still essentially good. Um, but yeah, you can now make this switch with your dealer. When this first was released on, I believe it was Wednesday, it wasn't available for you to make that switch because I was reading online, people went to their dealer like that same day and they couldn't make the switch. But I think now officially you can make that switch uh, from the two different powertrains. All right, you all, let me know down below if you're going to uh, just make that switch if you have ordered in a hybrid and you're switching to an EcoBoost. And it's just online, um, just looking on Ford Authority, they're just talking about just the different 
uh, same thing, capacity and making the switch and the constraints and whatnot. And yeah, it's just crazy right now. Hopefully people can get their orders as soon as possible. Make sure you all like, subscribe, comment down below, and talk to you all later. Bye.